hope not. The warming of the Earth's atmosphere caused by the increase in greenhouse gases is melting glaciers. As a result, ocean water levels are rising. Icebergs come in all shapes, size, and forms. The largest iceberg is as big as the island of Jamaica, and the tallest one is 551 feet above sea level, as tall as the Washington Monument. About 11% of Antarctica is made of floating ice. Hi, my name is Antonia from St. Peter's School, 6th grade. In my science fair project, I will try to answer the question of will the melting of icebergs flood our coasts? My hypothesis is that the melting of the icebergs will not flood our coasts because the volume of the ice is greater than the mass, same mass of water. I put water into these two balloons which are going to freeze and they're going to be our iceberg from our project. This bag, I will put it under these balloons so then they will protect them. If someone comes up and opens up the fridge, I'm in the freezer. Oops. Now let's check if our icebergs are ready. They are. They're all frozen. Very hard. I'm going to remove it now from the refrigerator and walk it to our station. I have an assistant named William. Hello! Ooh, she wants it. Oh, jiggly, jiggly! 1,500 milliliters of water in here. I will add some salt to make it look like a sea. And now it's a C. Oh my goodness. That is our iceberg. That is ice because the air expanded in it so it's floating. The current water level is 2,500 milliliters. And I will mark how much there is right now. No way. Hold on. Awesome people. The books that we will use to put the camera on top to film this spot. Oh, I think it just increased a little. But I just finished it. After about three hours, the ice completely melted. The water level did not change. Therefore, my hypothesis was correct. Melting icebergs do not affect sea levels. While this is good news, there is still a lot of ice on land. If ice on land continues to melt, we will have rising sea levels and our cities will flood. If we cannot stop greenhouse emissions, if we cannot stop global warming, then we need to find creative ways to deal with the melting ice. So how about we find some good uses for the ice? Here's an example. The fresh water from the iceberg could be used to give fresh water to people in Africa or other places where there's not much water. We could use the water to irrigate fields. Or create man-made lakes. I hope you've enjoyed my science fair project and I look forward to for some comments.